We have new information, which will shock all of you. I have WPXI.com news. Alleged Trump shooter spotted by law enforcement nearly 30 minutes before the shots were fired. The official number is 26. It was 5.45 p.m. Someone called it in. They took a picture of the person. They said that they have learned from a source that person in the picture is Thomas Crooks. We're told it's not clear if he had a gun with him at that point. According to multiple sources, a law enforcement officer had also previously seen Crooks on the ground and called him in as a suspicious person with a picture. 26 minutes after the second picture of Crooks was taken by law enforcement, the second, mind you, and the information was called in, shots were fired from the roof of the American Glass Research Building. Seconds later, a Secret Service sniper returned fire and killed Crooks. Now, there's a lot of questions as to how something like this happened. And it's very hard and I know, I, look, I know the media is going to attack and insult me and, and everybody else. It is hard to believe that this is a lone gunman who got lucky. This defies all logic. A clear line of sight within 130 yards of, of the front runner for the, for the presidential election. And not once in a half an hour did a single law enforcement officer say, suspicious man on the roof, get the president off the stage. All they had to do was click their walkie talkie and say, Get Trump off stage, security threat. Nope, nobody, nobody, not one person. Tim. Corey Mills brought up that when, as a, as a former sniper, when they would do these assessments with Secret Service, they track what are vantage points at 100 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards. So I'm supposed to believe, and the American people are supposed to believe that in this instance, a crazed lone gunman had a ladder placed up against a building where police were staging, climbed onto the roof, was seen by two law enforcement officers who took pictures of him, encountered another law enforcement officer who saw him on the roof and backed away, was identified by members of the crowd and by Secret Service, and no one did anything until he literally shot Donald Trump. It's impossible to explain. Away. I, I can steel man a bit of it, and I, I'll steel man it knowing that I don't believe it. Somebody on a roof just trying to get a better viewpoint of the president, you know, suspicious, but not terrible. But you could see in the videos now, and we know all these facts, that one sniper had him in his scope for an extended period of time. I don't know how you assemble an AR-15 once you get on a roof, but it's not something that takes uh, a nanosecond. Mm -hmm. It's clear. This was a Lee Hop, a let it happen on purpose, that at the end of it, you'd have your dead patsy. Uh, oh, it was incompetence. They were understaffed. Horse crap. You don't understaff and have the best vantage point of the president, not only unmanned, but unsupervised. It was a let it happen on purpose. And at the end, the, some heads would roll. Oh, incompetence. You'll go. You whatever. Meanwhile, they would have gotten exactly what they wanted. It was a matter of days before the RNC. Trump hadn't been officially appointed yet. He hadn't nominated his VP yet. This was the time and that kid. But for the grace of God, Don I Donald Trump was supposed to be in prison. But oh, the Supreme sure. Court sided with Donald Trump on presidential immunity. But the important factor, while most legal analysts expected that there would be some degree of immunity for Donald Trump, what I don't think anyone expected was that they would additionally add in their ruling that you could not use presi actions, uh, 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 presidential actions, official acts, official acts as evidence of other wrongdoing. Right. Which, again, no one expected would undermine the New York uh, hush money case and then delay the sentencing of Donald Trump, he would be in prison. He would not have been able to go to the convention. They would have held him back, and that failed. Now, that being said, I don't know what that means. And it certainly doesn't mean that all of these Secret Service agents are in on anything. It doesn't mean that the local law enforcement are in anything. It doesn't mean anything other than, like you said, let it happen on purpose. And all that it would require for that to be the case is a single logistics person intentionally saying... Don't worry, guys, we've covered every every vantage point location and ignoring one. I but again, I don't know. I don't know. I read I a report that said that uh, Secret Service policy is not to shoot until shots have been fired. I've been told that's nonsense. That but... seems totally insane. Well, and also to, to your point, you know, if he had to assemble his weapon on that roof, surely someone would have noticed this. Or did he have to get back down and get a weapon and then climb up again? Like whatever happened here is actually concerning because it seems like it, there was we know there was too much time, but also it doesn't seem like it was subtle, right? It's not like he was 
in all white and hiding on the roof for three days. I mean, it really seems like people watch this person climb up and down the roof. And speaking of logistics, I also think it'll be interesting to get in, though. Apparently, we can't get into uh, his phone. You can only hack phones if you're, you know. No, they did. They 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 did. did. Okay. It's been reported they got in, but they can't find anything. Like, there's nothing in it. Right. I think it's an interesting logistical oversight, though, on the shooter's part to even assume that a, a roof that's, what, less than 150 yards away from where President Trump was speaking to assume that it would would even be unsecured that seems like just an oversight if you had really been been planning this out and frankly i think there's a lot of similarities to just the whether it's oddities i think that's sort of the the age-old question of the biden regime right is it intentional or is it a result of incompetence but with the way secret service conducted themselves when it when it came to the january 6 pipe bomb incident right the footage that was released via tom massey showing them despite some big pipe bomb being there that secret service is just you know sitting in the car they're letting a, a gaggle of school children walk in front of it the capitol police officers taking a picture of it and then going back into the car and i think it's just sort of a, a pattern of very interesting behavior that we should not be expecting from the Secret this, Service. This, you made a really good point. This guy, how did he know yeah. that building would be available to him? He, there was a ladder seen in one photo. How? I mean, if he showed up to this rally and was walking around it acting suspicious, support, they reported him, nobody took any action. In order for that security breach to have occurred, he was walking around with a weapon in a bag or on his person, and then got lucky and found this building? Where did the ladder come from? How was a building not secured Apparently with a direct line of the sight? staging area for law enforcement. Right. So I, I think it's pretty obvious that I don't think you need to be a law enforcement professional to say that the law enforcement and Secret Service and security failed here on every level. I think it's a very scary thing of what it says that one determined person can do and be able to accomplish allegedly on their own to uh, a, one of the most famous people on planet Earth, somebody who's supposed to have some of the best Secret Service protection on planet Earth. I don't know what that says for people who don't have Secret Service protection. I don't know what that says for you, um, other U.S. representatives because, again, this was allegedly just one motivated person and if this is what one motivated person could do i don't know what that says for the security and and state of our country with the current political climate um what you'll hear from the left is trump is hitler and uh, if you were able to kill baby hitler um do you think there's a manifesto i i i I cannot i there is no logical path to say a single person who was determined was able to to scout out a location during Secret Service detail and was able to find a ladder to climb on top of a building, encountering three law enforcement officers who at no point called it in, and then two minutes from the crowd screaming he's on the roof and got a gun, not a single person got Trump off the stage. I cannot follow that logic. I yeah, but there's it. so much law enforcement logic that can't be followed. Look what happened at Uvalde. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, we see this all the time. Police officers go out there and then they but completely it, fail. That's that that may be. Uvalde can be explained by cowardice. Total Parkland cowardice. can be explained by cowardice. This can't. You, this, don't think? This, you can argue that was the 26 minutes you can you can argue the 26 minutes beforehand when they saw this guy the first time they just were confused and stupid and it was stupidity. But I don't see how you argue that 2 minutes and 1 second before Trump was literally shot there's video of people screaming, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. And not one, not one law enforcement said, pull Trump, get him off the stage. It, I, it's, we, we saw a man rush the stage, they just they jump a barricade, and they, and they grabbed Trump and pulled him off stage. This was a man, for two whole minutes, people were screaming, he's got a gun, and nothing happened. It, okay. it is just, it's, it's inconceivable to you know, ch- channel the guy from uh, Princess Bride. It, it's inconceivable. And... Um, the, the also the fact that he got off so many shots. I mean, it's it's like it's even if the <clears throat> issue was 20 seconds They see this guy on the roof and the guy you see the sniper with his gun on him It's inconceivable all of it This kid's just walking around with a gun and then says oh that roof is available I'm gonna take this t- opportunity where the ladder come from No, well apparently the ladder might have been affixed to the building I don't know. Maybe it was left over from the stage perhaps perhaps I mean, it's a steel man sense Fine. The dude's on a building on a roof in a prone position. They know it for an extended period of time he Takes out a gun, gets several shots off before they finally take him. It's inconceivable. It's called fractal wrongness. Nobody can be that wrong, and there can't be that many mistakes on accident in a sequence. Uh, it has to be. I think illegal. the police are ser- and Secret Service can seriously be that incompetent. They didn't have a drone in the area. They had no aerial overview, and 
and it's it's upsetting and i think it's it's frightening again what as of now we're told only one motivated person can do the damage one motivated person can do to our political system because we would be on the precipice of civil of a civil war if uh trump was a centimeter tilted otherwise have you seen the reports that uh and i can't confirm this i don't know but i just saw one report saying that Secret Service might have been divided between the Trump event and the Jill. Secret Service Biden? debunked that. Okay, that's good. Because it is interesting to think that like they they they've been doing this for how long? I mean, they mm-hmm. were originally founded to uh, to fight counterfeiting in in the U.S., but then they've had this job forever, and they still don't seem to know we have to station everybody on rooftops. I mean, it is bizarre to me that there would be an open rooftop that there wasn't, you know, 130 yards away. I don't understand. This is for people with secret service. What does that say? Most politicians don't have secrets. I don't think any senators or maybe uh, majority leaders, but like secret service is very rare. Former presidents, former first ladies and current candidates and and like, um, presumptive nominees, um, RFK Jr. doesn't even have secret. Uh, well, did you see Trump? Yeah, I think he Trump got he today. got it now. Well, yeah, Trump today was like, you really need to give RFK Jr. secret service. He and has it. He got, he got Mayorkas it. came out and was like, all right, we'll do it. He was like, because Biden has asked me to, I will do it, yeah. which I find fascinating. Right? Fine. It has like, to be. Like, Biden is now taking orders from Trump. And, and, no, it's to, it's to show unity. Now Biden's making concessions. Right. He's going to protect the people that he wants dead, and you know, now's the time. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.